In today's funny short joke compilation, we bring you 11 of our short jokes, one after another. Our first funny short joke is about a boy that do not want to eat his veggies. Here is a funny short about kids not wanting to eat their veggies. This dad walks into the kitchen while his wife is having a bit of an issue with their young son. What's wrong? The father asks. The mom said that their son bluntly refuses to eat the broccoli that she has prepared for him. The father leans over and whispers in the boy's ear. The boy immediately starts to eat all his broccoli and then leaves for his room. The mother is very surprised and asks her husband, what have you told the boy that makes him eat all his broccoli? The father told his wife that he said to the boy that if he does not eat his broccoli, then his willy will not grow longer. The mother was dumbstruck. Then she turns to the father very angry and hit him with a cloth. What is that all about? The father asks. The mother replied, Now why did you not eat your broccoli? <laughs> Our next funny short joke is about an old man that rear-ended this aggressive youngster. This old man rear-ended a car in traffic. The other driver, a young guy, jumped out of his car and immediately confronts the old man. Here is at least $5,000 of damage, he shouts. If you don't pay me immediately, I will beat the pulp out of you. The old man said that he does not have that kind of money, but that he will phone his son, who trains dolphins. As the old man is on the phone speaking with his son, the young guy took his phone and shouted, I don't care if you train dolphins as long as I get my $5,000 immediately, else I am going to hit the pulp out of this old man. The old man's son said that he will be there in 10 minutes and hung up. 10 minutes later, a pickup stopped and a huge man climbs out of it. He walks over to the scene and said to the old man, Dad, I told you before, I train Navy SEALs, not dolphins. <laughs> now we bring you a funny short joke about a forgetful old man doing shopping for his wife. In this funny short, we tell you how the old deal with forgetfulness. This old gentleman was walking through the supermarket to buy some food. The main item on his shopping list was a chicken, which his wife told him to buy. Unfortunately, his mind is not what it used to be, and he cannot think of the bird's name that he was supposed to buy. He wanders up and down the aisles looking for something resembling a bird, which should lead him to a chicken for his purchase. He stumbles upon a box of eggs. A glint of hope came onto the old man, Immediately, he knew what he was supposed to buy. Very impressed with himself, he grabs the eggs and marched over to the teller. He then asks, Lady, please can you tell me on which shelf I can find the mother of these eggs? <laughs> In the following funny short joke, we have a mother that had enough of a clever teenager. This teenager was giving his mother grief. She did not allow her children to misbehave not even aggressive teenagers that always complain about everything. She said to her son, If you are going to give me grief today, then I will unleash all hell on you and I will knock all 64 of your teeth out. Do I make myself clear? The teenage boy knew not to test his mother's patience, so he went to get some comfort from his father. Now, the father was a very calm man and knew not to test the wife's patience but he always aims to mediate a situation in his household. He said to his wife, Hey, honey, don't you think you should ease up a bit? And a grown-up only has 32 teeth in his mouth, not 64. The wife glared at her husband and said, I knew you were going to stick your nose into our business, so I have included your teeth into the equation. <laughs> in the next funny short joke, we have two hunters that want to overload a small plane. These two guys went on a hunting safari. The managed to shoot three huge animals and needed to fly it out of the hunting location. The pilot looked at the three animals and said, These animals are too heavy for the plane. We will never make it. The two guys said that they did the same hunt last year and had the same issue with the pilot, but they eventually convinced him to load the animals. The pilot then agreed to load the three animals, and off they went. The plane struggled heavily to get into the air, but eventually managed. A short bit later, the plane could not handle the weight anymore, and crash landed. The two guys and the pilot stood outside of the crashed plane, and the pilot asked, Do any of you two know where we are? The two hunters looked around and agreed. 
Yes, it's exactly where we crash landed last year. <laughs> now we bring you a funny short joke about the top three fencing champions showing their skills. At a world fencing exhibition, three of the world's best swordsmen were out to proof their skills. The number three fencer in the world took to the stage. A fly was released, and with a flash of his sword, the fencer cut the insect in half. The crowd cheered. Then the second best fencer in the world took to the stage. A fly was released, and with a flash of his sword, the fencer cut the insect in four. The crowd cheered. Now the number one in the world took to the stage. He was the main attraction of the evening. A fly was released, and with a flash of his sword, nothing happens. The crowd turned silent in disappointment. The fencer bowed to the crowd with a smile on his face. What are you so happy about? Someone shouted out. You missed. I never miss, said the fencer. That fly can never have children. <laughs> in the following funny short joke, we bring you a wife giving her husband some very bad news. A worried woman calls her husband at work. Honey, I got to tell you something that's very important, but you're not going to like it, she said. Hold on. The husband sighs. Work's insane right now. I have too much paperwork and a very important meetings to attend. Can this wait? No, it can't, said the wife. But there's good news and bad news. The husband immediately said, so long as you did not touch my new Ferrari, then you can give me the good news first. Well, the wife said, about that new Ferrari of yours, the airbag in the car, it definitely works. A beat of silence. Then, a huge groan travels down the phone line. Of course that must be the good news. How bad is it? <laughs> in our next funny short joke, we have this college girl having an important chat with her mother. Very funny. This 19-year-old daughter was home from college and asks her mother if they can have a private chat as she has something on her heart and she needs her mother's advice. The mother sat her down and started to chat, knowing that the burning issue will come out soon. Now, tell me what's on your mind, dear. Mom, I am in love, but I need to get your opinion on something. And who should this lucky man be? Well, Mom, you know Jack, my friend from school the one that used to walk me home from school. Yes, my honey, but isn't he a bit too young for you? Not him, Mom. I am in love with his dad. You can't get involved with that man. He can be your father. Mom, please don't dare to tell me who I can and who I cannot fall in love with. And when does age have anything to do with it? When I said that he can be your father, I think you misunderstood me. Now we bring you a funny short joke about what woman wants. In this funny short, we will tell you exactly how much a woman likes you. A dating man, a married man, and a divorced man are having a chat at a pub. The dating man said, It has been said that if a woman agrees to go on a date with you, it is because she likes a little bit of what she sees from you. Makes sense, doesn't it? The married man replied, as time goes by and you feel it's time to ask her to get married and she agrees, you should not forget that a woman agrees to get married to you when obviously she likes a lot of what she sees from you. Now the divorced man's head hung low as he replied, Now you two gents must focus, because I would like to give you a warning. If a woman decides to divorce you, it's obviously because she likes everything that she sees from you. In our second last funny short joke of the day, we bring you a wife and a mistress being on the same boat cruise. This wife was reading about an all expenses paid cruise at a low price. She said to her husband, look, a two day cruise and very cheap. The husband has too much work so he can't go. The wife decides to go alone. The next day at the office, the husband's mistress brings the same all expenses paid trip to him. But again, because of work, he can't go. A week later, the man's wife returns from the trip and show him the pictures. On the pictures is his wife and his mistress. Who is this woman, the husband asks. His wife said, this crazy one, she slept with all the men on the trip. She's really cuckoos. Next day at work, the mistress brings her pictures and again, the man's wife features in them. 
And who is this woman, he asks. His mistress said, nice woman, think she was on honeymoon. She never left her husband's side for a second. <laughs> Just before we bring you our last short joke of the day, we would like to thank you for watching our short funny jokes. These shorts are published daily. If you like this compilation, then please press the subscribe button and the bell icon. This way you will be notified for our following release. Have a nice week. Here goes. This well-known football player is used to everyone recognizing him wherever he goes and has a huge social media following. Because of this, he is always forced to talk with people. This makes him very tired, and he, by choice, doesn't start many conversations. One day, returning from a big game, got into the back of a taxi at the airport as he needed to get home. The taxi just stood there idling while the taxi driver stares at the football player in his mirror. The taxi driver then said, please, can you give me a hint? The football player said, I have played 50 games for Manchester United and 15 games for the English team. Is that hint enough for you? The taxi driver responded by saying, please don't be stupid now. I wanted to know what the address is that I need to take you to. 